everyone. As I promised to you, we will continue the simple discussion that we have last time with this video um, discussion. Okay, so this is just a continuation of what you have learned regarding the linear equations. But this time, our main focus is on the graphs of linear of linear equations rather. So we know that in previous discussion, a linear equations in two variables can be described in different ways. And one of these ways is the graphing. So graphing linear equations now can be done using any of the three methods. So it can be using two points, using x and y intercepts, or using slope and a point. So I will give um, examples for these three methods uh, for you to be familiar with. And let's start with using two points. So for using two points, it says here that what that in geometry we learned that two points determine a line. Since the graph of a linear equation is a line, thus two points are enough to draw a graph of a linear equation. That is why uh, we can actually draw two points by simply providing um a linear equation. So for our example here, you need to grab y is equal to 2x plus 1. So as you can observe, it is in uh, y is equal to mx plus b form. So with that, our simple solution is that you have to let the value of x as 0. Then you need to substitute um, the value of x in the given equation. So with that, in y is equal to 2x plus 1, your x will be 0. So 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So in this case, if your x is 0, then your y is 1. So we have an ordered pair 0 and 1. And aside from that, we can also let x be equal to 1. So again, just substitute the value of x in the given equation so that we have y is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1. So 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. With that, if the value of x is equal to 1, the value of y is equal to 3. So we have another ordered pair, which is 1 and 3. So since we na po tayong ordered pair, all we need to do now is to graph this pair. So it equals c 0 and 1. As you can see, it is located on the y-axis, okay? And we have 1 and 3, 1, then 1, 2, 3, that is in quadrant 1. So, with that po, you just simply need to connect the two um, points and meron na po tayong magagawa na slope. Okay po, di ba kung mapapansin nyo dito, sa uh, y is equal to, 2x plus 1, ang slope mo ay 2. Rise over, uh, run lang po yan. Parang ito lang siya. Uh, Nag-rise siya. Or pagbaba nga, like, ginawa niya 1, 2, tapos 1. Nag-meet na siya. So, 2 over 1 is simply 2. Kaya po 2 yung m natin dito. Yan yung count nun. 1, 2, over 1. Ayun siya. Kaya ganun lang naman po yung sa may pagkagrap po using two points. So other than that, other method is using x-intercepts and y-intercepts. So as you can see in your SLG, it defined as um, the x and y-intercepts of the line could represent two points, which are a and 0 and 0 and b. Meaning to say, we can let the value of y be equal to 0 or x be equal to 0. So, thus, the intercepts are enough to graph the linear equation. So, for our example, once again, we will use the y is equal to 2x plus 1. But, however, um, since ang kukunin po natin, or represent natin siya as a, 0, excuse me, m, 0, and b. So, we have, or we let the value of y be equal to 0. So, mukha po nung nandito, nandito sa a0. So, i-substitute lang po natin. So, we have y or is equal to 0. That's why 0 is equal to 2x plus 1. So, we simply need to transpose the 2x to the left side of the equation. So, the sign will be 
change from positive became negative. Or you can use the ATE method that I have mentioned last meeting. So, of course, uh, kailangan po nag-iisa lang sa x dito kasi yung value na x ang nahanap natin. That's why uh, we can divide both sides by negative 2 so that we can cancel out yung katabi ni x. So, with that po, makakancel natin si negative 2 and negative 2. So, the value of x now is simply equal to negative 1 half. So, meaning to say, if y is equal to 0, your x is equal to negative 1 half. Followed by, once again, we are going to use 0 and b. So, x now is equal to 0. Substitute the value of x, which is 0, to the given equation. And with that, we can get y is equal to 1. So, if x is 0, the value of y is equal to 1. So, with that, again, all we need to do now is to... Um, graph it or to point it out dun sa ating Cartesian coordinate plane. So, ang una nating point is negative 1 half and 0. So, una ay si x, negative 1 half. So, nandito po siya along the x-axis pero sa um, negative part. So, ng ating number line. So, nasa pagitan siya ng 0 and negative 1, si negative 1 half. Then, 0 lang kasi yung y. So, dito lang po siya. Next is we have 0 and 1. So, actually, as you can observe, same lang yung naging slope din po nila. Diba? Magka-count lang din po tayo ng dalawa. At yung itura ng kanilang slope is still yung kamukha lang din po nung kanina. Ang pagkakaiba lang is magkaiba yung point na naiplat natin. Kasi kanina, dito tayo sa bandang taas. Dito. Dito tayo sa 1 and 3 eh. Pero this time, dito naman. So, pwede pala natin iba-iba yung point na uh, makuha natin. Hindi pa tinuro ko sa inyo before yung sa GeoGebra. Actually, pwede nyo siyang i-type lang yung given equation na to na y is equal to 2x plus 1 and then makikita nyo na agad ang slope. But then again, just like what you um, asked last time, kailangan mapapakita natin yung solution natin. Okay? And lastly is that we have using a slope and one point. So this time, igagrap pa rin po natin si y is equal to 2x plus 1. Pare-pareho lang po ang given, pero iba-iba yung ways na ginawa natin. So this can be done by plotting first the given point, then finding the other point using the slope. So for our solution po, let us say that um, x is equal to negative 1. Kasi magtayo ang maglalagay ng possible values eh. So, when we say that x is equal to negative 1, what would be the solution? All you need to do, anak, is to substitute the given value of x. So, we have now y is equal to negative 2 plus 1 is equal to y is equal to negative 1. So, meaning to say, if the value of x is equal to negative 1, then the value of y is also negative 1, which makikita ninyo po dito sa plane natin na nakalocate sila sa quadrant 3. Ito siya. Ito siya. Okay? Next is, ito na po siya. Meron tayong negative 1 and, sorry, negative 1 and 1. Tapos yung kanina, given naman na natin kanina pa, yung 0 and 1. So, ayun na po. Mabibilang nyo po. ba sabi natin again, ang slope mo, yung m mo ay 2. Ayan po siya yun. 1, 2, tapos 1. So, 2 over 1, simply equal to 2. So, yun po yung pinaka part, part po ng ating graphing using, uh, graphing linear equations using the three methods. So, for your activity time, all you need to do is to answer the enrichment activity 1. So, two points each po siya. Uh, I'm, kung hindi po kasi natin pwedeng sulatan ang sa SLG natin. So, I think pwede nyo siyang i-throw or pwede nyo i-photocopy po para yung kulay mailagay ninyo po siya. Okay? And then, we have the enrichment activity number 2 in which multiple choices lang naman po yun nasa inyong answer. I uh, sorry, nasa inyong SLG. So, all you need to do is to write the letter that corresponds to your answer on your answer sheet. And lastly po, is yung given yung graph at the right uh, and you all, all you need to do is to find the following 
we need to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the rise, the, the run. Madali lang to. Of course, yung slope, makikita nyo po dyan pag tingnan nyo, and the trend. So, that would be all for the week number 6. Yung hindi lang po natin ito natapos ng lesson last time. So, balik-balikan nyo lang po yung video na to para po mas maintindihan ninyo. And don't forget to PM me if you have um, questions regarding our lesson. Uh, thank you once again, grade 8.